Hey guys, Allison Shipley backstage at Laquan, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. I'm here with Dana Arcity, who is the key makeup for Face Atelier. Yes. And you're creating this awesome look. You have a bold lip, a bold brow with this bold hair. Can you tell us about it? Well, we really wanted the focus to be on the lips. His collection is so dramatic that we wanted this dark purple. It's almost black, and then you get up close and you see it's purple. And if you just look at his collection, you see all this avant-garde craziness. So we kept the rest of the face relatively simple, matte skin, but we kind of mixed the 90s with the 80s with today in terms of the makeup. So well, it's, it's a fun fusion. It's so beautiful, and it's going to translate so wonderfully on the runway. How do you so. think this will translate to an everyday wear of makeup? What can they apply from this Oh, look? you could do just bigger brows. You could do the contouring. You could do a purple gloss. You don't have to go all the way, but I say if you want to do it. If you feel comfortable wearing this to the grocery store, I approve of that. So tell us about the brows. Brows are such an important part of somebody's face. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through this specific look and tell us why it works? So she is blessed with pretty big brows to begin with, but we filled them in even more and it just wor it works on her because she has big eyes, but also it's just balance within the face. You don't have a whole lot going on in the eyes, so you can focus on the brows and the lips and it's still not overdone. Now as a makeup artist, surely you must walk through grocery stores or malls and just look at an eyebrow and go, oh God, I can help you. Oh, yes. What would you say is one of the biggest eyebrow mistakes women the make? The worst eyebrows I think are too thin. It's better to have them too thick than too thin. And the tadpole brows where it's like big there and small there, no. Now what is the best brow that you think is everybody should wear? The best brow? <sighs> Honestly, it's different depending on your face, but you want it to be the right distance apart. If they're too close together, it makes your nose look really narrow. Too far apart, it actually makes your nose look wide. So that's just one simple thing everyone can do. Find the right place to start your brows. And for those that do need to fill in, what do you recommend? Do you like a powder with a wax? Do you like I a pencil? I do prefer a powder with an angled brush. I think it's easier to get the shape you want without it looking too drawn on. I think that's what scares a lot of people. Well, it looks absolutely stunning. We can't Thank wait to you. see it all come together on the runway. I'm Thanks, Dana. Too. Thank you so much.